you can already see a difference in the speed between the two again both running at 3.33 gigahertz both on x58 motherboards so obviously having extra the extra two cores is helping a lot in Signbench look at that, that's fine powerful little sucker isn't she, the 980X remember doing the same sort of test with the i7 when it first came out versus the um, Core 2's look at that, that's nearly done, there you go Start them going. Remember, this is only a one minute clip, so if there's only a one second difference between the two, you've got to multiply that over the length of uh, video you're going to be doing. So if you're going to be doing a one hour video, if it's one second difference, it's going to be 60 seconds if it's difference over an hour. So at the moment, we're doing a one minute video. me and my friend driving through the city, Melbourne city. You can see the usage, not utilizing 100% CPU, only getting up to 40 or 50% then hovering around 30. But definitely using all uh, 12 cores there, you can see. The 980X on the left. Okay, here we have um, on the right the i7-920 still running. both running at the same 3.33 gigahertz and now just for my um, final benchmark I'm going to run 3D Mark Vantage just a CPU test to get a score uh, I'm not going to enable physics on any of the tests so that's going to be a straight out CPU run so it's just going to be two tests I'm not going to run these side by side because it's a pretty boring um, benchmark. I'll just run the uh, 980X. That's what you're seeing right now. Alright, and uh, at the end I'll just um, have a screenshot of both scores. You'll be able to see it. I might as well comment um, while this is running. One thing I do really love about the 980X is um, I'm able to edit my Canon HD files now, which we used to be, uh, which used to be really hard to run. Premiere had a hard time running them, and uh, even you know the little preview in the corner used to run like five frames a second. Now you're getting a good 20 frames a second, so it makes it a lot easier for editing. Remember, this is no physics installed, just a straight out CPU benchmark. If there's any other um, side by side vids you'd like, I could run uh, with the 920 and the 980. Let me know. Just jump on the forum and uh, I'll probably do another video. Just finishing up the test now. Bloody boring benchmark, isn't it? There you go, 31,703. There you go, right there. 31,703 for the i7 980X. And you can see 20,365 for the 920. Both of them are clocked at 3.33 gigahertz. 
So it's just plain uh, extra cores now giving it over 10,000 extra points. Stay tuned for my next video, it'll be um, an overclocking video, so I'm going to really push the 980X. There's probably a week or so to go before Australia receives the first batch of uh, GDX 480s, can't wait for that, so I can do all the tests on the 980X and then have fun with the graphics cards running in Triasolo.